Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to a very, very chilly evening in the garden. Uh, I'm really excited and happy to be here with you guys tonight. One of the classes that I'm going to be teaching at Fluid Art Experience is a ring pour and straight pour class. So tonight we're going to demonstrate both those techniques for you using the same color palette and just doing the two different techniques. We're going to be using some nice 12 by 12s. These are gallery wrapped 12 by 12s from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and painted the sides and edges on both of them. So let me show you my colors real quick and we'll get started. Uh, the first one we are using is my lovely friend here, Amsterdam Bronze. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Gorgeous color and consistency. This one dries so beautifully. Oh, I was gonna show you, I'm gonna, ha I have the dried results for um, Sushi Mountain for you guys, I wanted to show you. But this is our Amsterdam Bronze. Everything is mixed with mix pour tonight. You can get your own mix pour by emailing Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Get this gorgeous, luscious, thick, creamy deliciousness. <laughs> okay, so that's our bronze. Uh, the next one we are using is Amsterdam Titanium White, which my tub is down here. I love this thing. Um, this is just titanium white. It's nothing else. Actually, this one's feeling a smidge thick. And when I drizzle it off the stick, leaving a mound on a mound, but sinking into itself pretty quickly. I am just going to add a smidge of water to this one, just because it's a little bit thicker than I want. This is one of the really nice things about mix, is it thins out really, really easy. I probably put just a teaspoon of water in there, and a little bit of stirring. Yeah, that's better. And that sinks into itself really easily. So that's our titanium white from Amsterdam. The next one we're using is Golden's Payne's Gray. Gorgeous color. And this is also the color that I have for my background base coat. Beautiful stuff. Mound and mound and then sinking into itself. And I actually prefer the paint thicker like this, especially when working with a smaller canvas. Believe it or not, these are actually much more challenging for me. Um, than using bigger canvases. Bigger canvases are a lot more forgiving. <laughs> this one, there's not a lot of wiggle room. So that's our 12 by 12s. That's our Payne's Gray. The next one we're using is Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet, which I really, really like this color. I use this in our pour in Delray Nights. Gorgeous stuff. Really, really pretty. And it dries kind of deeper than this. It does dry more like this, which is nice. Not so pink like that. And then using that color, that permanent red violet, like I did in Delray Nights, I made this beautiful plummy color by adding just a little bit of the dioxazine purple to that permanent red violet. And this one was such a beautiful color in that pour. There's a reel on my Facebook page you guys can go and watch to see the dried results of that one. Really, really nice stuff. So that's our plummy permanent red violet mixed with some dioxazine purple. How okay. do you spell that? P-L-U-M-M-Y. Ah, okay. <laughs> Actually, yes. Okay, so I'm actually You want to show them? Oh, yes. Thank you, HOA. I do want to show them because it's such a pretty piece. I really love this. This is one of my favorite things I've poured in a really long time. This is a 24 by 36. This one was Sushi Mountain. That really cool wandering wing pour that we did. Really beautiful. And now you can see the bronze. Can you see the bronze blinging, HOA? Yeah. We need just like up in here. Mm, yeah. So pretty, and the way that this greenish blue is uh, so pretty with the orange. I love it. I love how this one turned out. And this Payne's gray base coat again is so beautiful. It made me really, really happy. I like this. I might put this one up in our bedroom. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. So let's get started. Let's layer our cups. Let's layer them both at the same time and the same way so you guys can see the actual differences between ring pours and straight pours. These are, what are they, nine ounce cups? Seven ounce cups? Nine ounce cups, okay. So for a 12 by 12, we only need five and a half ounces of paint. So we do not have to go all the way up to the top. If I do go higher, then that just means I won't need to use a flow extender. So I'm gonna start off with just a little bit of bronze and I'm only gonna drizzle it off the stick. I'm not even gonna pour it. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with some white. Just drizzle a little bit off the stick. And that's so that we don't end up with a whole lot of white in the center. All right, 
let's see. Let's go in with our plummy color now. And when layering your cups, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Um, let's put some of the permanent red violet on there. lovely because it does dry so dark and has a little bit more warmth than just black. Okay, let's go back to the white. And go back to that plum. This one and the red violet this time. Let's see, we've got train, horn, dog. All we need is like a leaf blower. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe an airplane landing on us. Ming Ming. <laughs> That's not Baxter, by the way. That's not Baxter barking now. Okay, so we've got our permanent red violet in there. Now we want to put another layer of the Payne's Gray, but again, we're going to go back to the white. Just a small layer. And some Payne's Gray. We could probably stop there. But I think I want one more layer of this beautiful plum color on top. Those are ready. Get a and we'll wipe that off. This table covering is kind of weird because it's not black. It's kind of throwing me off just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna pull over one of the 12 by 12s. We're gonna put a little bit of bronze in the center to pour into. And because it's not super thin, I'm just gonna kind of spread that out just a little bit. All right, which one should we do first, HOA, the ring pour or the straight pour? Uh, let's do the straight pour first. Okay, let's do a straight pour first. So we're going to go from up here, and we're going to go right into that puddle. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I, alas, you I am go. ready. I'm going to kind of get the cup up higher and add a little bit of twist. Bring the cup down more. I'm gonna get that really pretty center with all those fingerlings. start to see that white and that bronze. Because we have so much paint on here, we don't actually need a flow extender. I'm going to torch this real quick. Okay. Right. Let's tilt this out. What do I love? I love this part right in there. It's really pretty. And I love this part and I like these lines. So we'll see. So the major difference between a ring pour and a straight pour, with a straight pour you're kind of staying in one spot. With a ring pour obviously you're making circles. 
Right, let's tilt this out. I'm gonna go off this way first. Find the weight of the paint. Walk it down. I'm just gonna kinda go around in a circle first. center. And now we're going to go down to this other corner. Nice and easy. Take your time when you're tilting. Don't rush it and try to go really, really fast. Stay in one direction. a bit. I'm going to take it down off of that bottom corner. There we go. That's pretty cool. Very. a phoenix or a baby dragon <laughs> probably a baby dragon baby dragon okay so that's pretty cool looking let me wipe my hands off real quick and then we can point at it i love that this what's happening in here this beautiful transparency is happening because of mixed pour it's awesome stuff i really like all these little fingerlings on the side and I love this part, kind of almost looks like a sky. Take it down just a little bit more. And open this top part up a little bit. See the dragon? No, I don't see it. Well, sort his, of. His head is in the circle. Oh, his head. Oh, okay. Yeah, now I see your dragon. <laughs> okay. So that's our straight pour touch up my sides and edges here real quick with the paint that I scrape off of there. So it's the same color. I think it goes like this, but that's okay. You can look at it however you want. All right, move that one over there for the moment. I'm just gonna scrape my table off real quick. Try to keep our work area neat. And I'm just gonna scrape it right into one little cup. So normally, if my drips are one color, then I'll keep them. This is kind of muddy right now because it was a straight pour. So I may not keep this. This here is not my favorite color. <laughs> it's sort of mauvey lavender. Doesn't really do it for me. So I may not keep that, but you never know. We might. Okay. Put that off. one I think I am actually gonna pour a little bit of the base coat color on there first and then I'm gonna put a little bit of that bronze and now we're gonna do our ring pour I 
Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. Je suis prêt. I'm gonna do a ring pour. So this one, we're much closer to the canvas. I'm gonna switch direction. And switching direction allows you to distribute your colors more evenly. So we're making sure we get some of each color in different places. Switch directions one last time. Oops. Almost lost it there for a second, but I got it back. <laughs> <laughs> this one I am going to put a little bit more flow extender around here. Just a little bit. This is really pretty. I love this part in here. And you can see when I talk about switching directions, it's like we had a lot of pink coming over here. And when I switch directions and turn the cup the other, to, other way, we start getting more of the purple spread out. There's more white over there. So it just distributes instead of ending up with a painting that's half one color and half a whole bunch of colors, you actually get more uniform distribution of the color. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's go off that corner and take this down. We'll stretch out and spread the paint over the canvas first and then we'll play with composition. If we even need to. Or a circle and get a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you told it. Yeah, I know. Okay. So, let's take a look at this and see. I like this. I like how this one's looking. And I actually, I will torch it. I don't want to, but I will. But I am going to torch it because I do see a lot of air bubbles. Should I get rid of it? Or it's okay? No, I like it. Okay. Alright, so let's move this one over and subscribe the table off again real quick. A little bit of balance. Now see, this color is looking very muddy to me. So I can pretty much guarantee I will not be using this again. But if you keep your table clean and you can use the drips that you scrape, then you don't have to worry about that. I'm mostly doing this so I don't get paint all over my tummy. our straight pour and here's our rip pour. What do you think HOA? I think they look pretty cool. Yeah. All right, Great awesome. colors. Yeah. Why so, do you always pick the best colors? You're sweet man. I just pick colors that I like. <laughs> um, I do like both of these. I really like how you can see both of the different techniques and you can see the colors in each of them. Um, in this one, obviously, there's a little bit more blending because it was a straight pour, which means automatically there's going to be more blending. Um, so that was a straight pour from up high. The other kind of straight pour that I really like is the one that's very close to the canvas where we get a lot of those fingerlings and we stretch it out. So those are a lot of fun. So
So this is one of the classes that I will be teaching at Fluid Art Experience in Dallas in November. Please check out our website at www.fluidartexperience.com. I'm also teaching a 3D class, the, some of the 3D paint and also some of these gorgeous flowers. I'm going to bring some molds and we'll do some little quick resin flowers for you guys. So they'll be dry and you'll be able to take them home. Um, and I'm also teaching Splendid Split Cup class with awesome split cups from Tracy Reed, which is a lot of fun. And a big canvas class. Let's see what else are we teaching. Ring pours, straight pours, Splendid Split Cups, 3D classes. I think that's all of them in the 3D. Yeah, so <laughs> please check out our website for more information. Um, if you are coming to Dallas, please make sure that you do get your tickets for your lunches and your social events at the evening because they're going to be a lot of fun also. So this was great. Um, I will show you guys these dry in the next video and I will post them on a reel on my Facebook page. Um, if I could please ask you guys a favor, if you guys could go over to my Facebook page, Mina Villegas Art, and throw me a like over there, follow me over there, that would be really appreciated. Um, you know, trying to grow my channel as organically as possible and uh, every little bit helps. So thank you all so, so much for being here tonight with us. I'll show you these in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.